Have you wish. done? I hope nobody saw that.
Yeah? I'm this on it. isn't you. Hit me again and I'll hit you back. Then the Seeking Face has found her end. She will return in time, but not before you have moved on. Where would I go? When you're ready, I will be here.
glad to. returns is he ready to accept his fate so we must settle this with strength to Amo, I would have it no other way hang on now should probably find out what's going on here before we start throwing our weight around A test of might is what Tawamawai would want. Just like that. Come on! You have only delayed your death. have become fractured, turned upon ourselves. Still, I am thankful for your intervention, nor be it deeply ashamed of our conflict. I will not flee from the duty of maintaining this sacred place. The Crucible Games shall be as eternal as the seasons and the oceans, and each year, the pool of memories will grow deeper with stories of battle.
Glad to see we all learned something here. All that remains is for the flow of souls to be restored with the Tooth of Doamawai. With that done, you should be able to leave this place. Live well, Champion of the Hunt. Where did that come from? A question for later. What matters is that you're back, and just in time. Still here, and happy to see you. She's outside. What in the name of Margaret's flame and other things is going on out there? A huge reptile erupted from the Inland Sea. It attacks the Crucible! Humairi fights it, but without your aid, I fear she'll feed it instead. Kazuari needs you, champion. Go! Save her! Should be like this. Something's wrong. Dang, Watcher! It's like the islands got up and started walking.
Why are you carrying so many eggs? Surely they will spoil. Zuari needs you, champion. Go! Save her! Yes? Absolutely. Champion, what can I interest you in? Of course, let me show you around the grounds. This cannot last, you know. that you shop here and nowhere else. See for yourself, for a complaint. and walk through.
This breath rolls over you in a fetid wave. The stench of rotting fish nearly overpowering. A light sparks in its beady eyes, and the shouting from the stands fades away to nothing, replaced by the guttural rumble of Galloway's displeasure. This is my temple, my island, my security against Aethus's madness! My connection to the island is returned, yet it is not as it was. What happened in the beyond? What did you do? Weave your tale now. While you have a tongue still to tell it. I must admit, I'm surprised. You are known among the gods as a willful and contrary creature. I only regret that a scavenger like you stole my cues before I had the chance to crush them in my own claws. By your actions, the Crucible's trial will persevere through many seasons to come. Those who fail their trials and give their lives to the arena will remain a part of it, as it should be. Nothing. He has his hunt, and I have mine. His constant, pointless adventures in the mortal world are none of my concern. I said I admired his nerve. We believed he intended to rejoin the Pantheon, not Tear it to pieces! I will hibernate and let the other gods squabble in my absence. Whom would I help, Watcher? The kith grown soft and forgetful of struggle? Or the gods? for whom struggle is meaningless and tedious argument second nature. None of them deserve my aid. You stand before me now. Me. Galloway, a god. And this is what you ask? The Crucible is a hoard of essence for me to draw from. A safeguard against the rash and foolish decisions of the other gods. It's mine. Yes, I lure appropriate souls, souls bound for me, to this place. I keep them, protect them, nurture them. And if the time comes, I will reap them. It is not the scheme of a scrabbling, 
desperate creature with its leg caught in a trap. It is my right. You stole that relic from the beyond? Pray to your favored god, Herald of Beris, for your death is near at hand. The time for bargaining has passed. Accept your death with honor, Herald of Bereth. And pray you possess more cunning in your next life. Like shuttered lamplight, the glow of Galloway's presence leaves the beast's eyes. Dark encroaches at the edge of your vision until all you can see is a pinprick of light swimming in the emptiness of the beyond. Suddenly, the light blooms, and its force shoves you back into your body. This is futile!
Child. Ugh! <laughs> 
<laughs> that was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. <laughs> into a heap of blood and scales. The massive creature expires with a tired hiss, and you sense the familiar phenomenon of a soul departing a body. Only the energies involved are of a size and scale that threatens to overwhelm you. The essence rages around you as if desperate for direction. You can provide it. You inhale deeply, and the energy pours into your open mouth, your nostrils, your eyes and ears. It fills you, burning within you like a fire. Your flesh twists and buckles, bulging, and you feel as if you might explode. The sensation fades as the essence settles into your form. But you feel somehow changed, hungrier, wilder. It's over then? The souls have been quieted? Faces did it to themselves, fighting over their future. That would explain the turmoil I have felt. Every soul fallen in the arena, unsure of where to go. Thank you for helping them. I'll remember what you did, even in my next life. Promise. Now we live, we seek, and we slay. We survive. Another artifact right for the week.
come back. I hope I can be of service, friend. Galarde, you are most blessed. If I might ask, what did you learn from them? Incredible. I always suspected something of the sort. The gods are too great to suffer rivals. Your performance during the final battle impressed many, the faces of the hunt included. If you would hunt more artifacts, all would enjoy seeing you again in the arena. The Seeking Face whispered of a tapestry, stolen on the seas, now hanging in a shop on the water. Filch it from the filcher, and the spider shall be pleased. The slaying face growled of a statue, that of a great tracker, defaced. Hunt the hunter's crown in a ruined Juana city, long flooded and overgrown. The surviving face respects even the survival of a wounded god. Though she burned, the exiled queen persisted. Retrieve a part of her from the seat of her power. You now know as I. Certainly. Greetings, champion. You again honor the Crucible with your presence. Ask 
then. Greetings, champion. You again honor the Crucible with your presence. The crowd will cheer your name. The pool of memories will serve you a new foe. Hunt well. Watcher, hey. Better obvious, huh? Damn ciphers. Not even the inside of a man's head sacred to you. Guess I can't fault you for trusting the evidence of your eyes. Thing is, I didn't think we'd make it. First through the crucible, and out through the other side of the beyond. But here we are, in spite of gods and a god's damn giant crocodile. Live it! I told Rosa we'd be better off cutting our losses, leaving Kazuwari while we still had our lives. Then I came back here without her and won the damn thing. With your help, obviously. Now I've got some fame and a little bit of coin to show for it. Enough coin to set my par up right. Just like she said I would. And when I find her, I'll have to tell her this whole spectacle was worth it after all. Only she gets none of the glory. None of the glory, and none of Pa's thanks. Things aren't right between them. Never really have been. I think she believed that doing this for him would've helped. That's not my problem, and it sure as hell isn't yours. Just wanted to tell you, I, I don't know. You took a chance in an old dwarf in a brothel, and you didn't have to. So, thanks.
I'm here. <laughs> 